Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Another day, that means another vlog again. My name is Pia if you're new here. I used to be a flight attendant for over 10 years in the Middle East and now we're back here in the Philippines for good doing a layer poultry business. So we always visit the farm every day and this is usually my routine here. So I go straight away to the poultry house and check my chickens how they're doing and right now what i'm doing is checking all their feeds and at the same time i'm spreading all their feed just for other chickens to also eat so that they can also reach their daily feed consumption so they do have a feeding schedule here so normally it is around 6 30 in the morning and the second one is at 2 30 in the afternoon so right now i believe this one was shot at around 12 in the afternoon or noon time already so as you all can see the feeds are almost finished so what we usually do is just spread them out so that others can also consume their feeds now some of my viewers here are complaining especially the filipinos they do want me to speak in tagalog or our own language unfortunately i just want to apologize for my fellow filipinos because this video or my channel is actually not just for the filipinos but actually this is also for everybody to understand what i'm saying and i know filipinos are really very smart i know that you guys can actually understand me you just want me to speak in tagalog but i'll also want to do that one day but unfortunately for now there's no one doing the editing for me and you know me that i'm so busy with my schedule and the only one editing my videos and i don't have the time to put any subtitles on the videos as of the moment so hopefully very soon i'll be able to manage our time and i'll be able to give your request so here i found out that there is one chicken that is bleeding so i immediately called their staff to remove the chicken so that we can properly aid them so once we find out that there is a chicken that's sick we normally just separate them and we put them in our hospital pen so that is what we're doing right now by the way if you have noticed i am not tagalog i am bisaya because i come from negros oriental so if you'd like me to also speak in tagalog it'd be very very difficult for me but i will do that probably one day this vlog will probably be very short because we are also running short of our time so we still have a lot of deliveries to do for today and as all you can see i am very hands-on with the business that is because my husband and i actually made an agreement that he's gonna take care of other stuff and here i'll be the one taking care of the, the poultry farm so i am actually the one running the business itself and at the same time my husband just assists me because we actually also have a trucking business so he needs to take care of that as well so we need to have a proper delegation of work at the same time my husband also helps me with the maintenance work here at the farm because of course i can't do it alone and so right now i'm just doing my monitoring here and then afterwards i'm gonna go straight away to the farmhouse to also do the paperwork or in the inventory since today is a monday here so let me just finish my work and by the way what i'm doing is i'm just transferring all the other feeds to this part here because our chicken on the side doesn't have any more feeds anymore as you may have also noticed some of them they don't have any feathers no they're not sick they are actually molting and that's part of the cycle so chickens do molting and they just have to go through that cycle unfortunately it is very important for chickens to have their daily consumption so that they can produce eggs for you so if you have a very healthy chicken they do lay eggs every single day and that if you are really lucky they can give you as much as 90 to 95 percent depending on how old they are already so what we have right now the oldest batch is one year they just turned one year laying eggs okay it's not from day old pullets but from the moment they start laying eggs they are already one year here with us the other two batches actually came a little later already so 
for sure we will still be expecting peak production of these chickens. I'm also happy that the prices of the eggs here in our location, or at least I think the entire country, is already experiencing a very high demand when it comes to eggs. So we are very, very thrilled because the prices of the eggs are really very high. Since the bird season is already coming and December is fast approaching. And I know a lot of you actually have different opinions as to why we are expanding even if we haven't really reached our ROI yet. But just to give you an idea, there is a very big demand of eggs here in our location. So this is a very good opportunity for us to expand because as you may already know, eggs doesn't go out of trend. So since I'm already towards the end of this video, Right now, I'm going to check on what my husband is doing. So I believe right now he is spraying the larvae or the eggs of the flies, as you all can see. Because right now, we do have a lot of fly population, so we really have to control that. So that will be it for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed my very short vlog for today. And until next time, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!